Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I'm going to do a quick video on my impressions for Byredo Bibliotheque. So here we go. All right. So Byredo Bibliotheque is a fragrance that was on my wish list for a while. I did receive it about a month ago. So I haven't had months and months to sort of delve into it. So these, these are my just general quick impressions. Uh, first off, I, I of course have already opened this and sprayed it many times, but I thought you might like to see the packaging. So uh, here it is, comes in this really pretty box. It also has this sleeve uh, and then the box right here. And here is the fragrance, beautiful. So this is a 50 ml, uh, it retails for $180. And there we go. So today I thought because uh, it is Bibliotech <laughs> that we would uh, have a little some books in the backdrop there. Uh, this the books are my actually um, part some of my books for my 2021 reading list. I have I just finished the Gen a gentleman in Moscow yesterday, but I thought that that book in particular really would be a great backdrop for Bibliotech. Uh, and then some of the others are I will be reading uh, this year. So there we go, a little bit of uh, ambiance. Okay, so Bibliotech was actually first a candle. It was the most popular candle for Byredo, and they got so many requests that they finally decided to make a fragrance out of it. This was launched in 2017, it, and it is a unisex fragrance like most of Byredo's fragrances. So getting to the notes, at the top we have peach and plum, the heart is peony and violet, and the base is leather, patchouli, and vanilla. So when I spray this, and it's really, oh, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Uh, just gonna spray a little bit here. All right. And look at that, look at that cap, nice, okay. <laughs> there we go. So when I spray it, at the top I smell actually a very dark, almost overripe plum. And then in the middle for me, it's of smoky fruit. And then in the base, it really is like, when, when it does dry down after it settles on your skin, it is as you smell as if you are in an old, uh, old library, uh, but it is one of those libraries that is about 100 years old. <laughs> so it is a library that maybe is in a small town in the Northeast or in England or whatever country that you are in. Uh, and it has stone facade and, and ivy on the outside. And when you walk in, it's not too large, but it's very quiet, of course, and it's kind of dark, dark wood everywhere. And, and when you walk, the floor creaks a little bit in, in certain spots. There are cathedral, thin cathedral windows cut out on each side, so it's a little bit light, but it's generally dark environment. And you have that initial, just always that burst of, you know, combination of books and sort of furniture wax and dark wood, and just years and years of, of people milling about the library, you know, reading quietly, studying, doing their work, perhaps on dark tables that are on each side of the library it's I picture a library before computers and before laptops uh, so there's no technology in this particular library that I'm thinking about it is just uh, stepping back into time a little bit to where you're just one with the books uh, and that smell of you know books that paper smell that you get when you open a book that's been sitting for a while uh, and then alternatively, if you're not picturing that type of library, I it would remind me of a, a men's study. So a men's study that had dark wood paneling, leather chairs, books lined in, in dark bookshelves along the wall, an oriental rug, which would probably be set tones of red in it, and then scotch, of course, scotch on the rocks or sitting there, uh, and then also a slight tobacco note but really not tobacco it's really more of an incense and I think that would be combined sort of if someone had smoked a cigar a week ago but you still lingers in the air or maybe a couple days ago or last weekend 
Uh, and so it's more of an incense vibe, more so than tobacco, and it could just be really the leather that's coming through. But that's just what it inspires and in, in how I interpret it and how I smell it. Uh, this fragrance, I think for me, I think it actually leans more male uh, than female, but I have, it's unisex, so it doesn't matter, but I, I do think that it, it tends more to that, although I've read that some people think it's more feminine. I think it's probably more male. It is sort of a strong fragrance, so it would be much better in the late fall or winter. I would not wear this in the warmer weather, except for those times where I just might want to get, you know, transported back to feeling like I'm in a library or a study. You know, one spray would definitely set you back there. So for mood purposes, I think that would be really lovely. But for me, I think it, it will definitely be only a winter fragrance. Uh, and so that's really all I have got. And so I hope that you've enjoyed this review. It is really a lovely fragrance. I do think it's best always to try before you buy, although I did blind buy this. I, I was lucky uh, because I happen to, I love books, I like I love libraries, and I also uh, looked at the notes beforehand and they looked, you know, I was really curious how they were going to pull this off and make it smell like a library with the notes listed, but they have been successful. So with that, I will sign off and I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much, bye-bye.